Hello students, we will discuss today probability. However, the probability is a very large topic. We will discuss about the simple rules or basics of probability. These are the lecture paths what we follow actually today. Probability and types of probability, basic parameters of probability, counting, selecting and choosing principle, probability of dependent or independent event, conditional probability, various rules, few simple example and last feedback. Probability basically defines in a very simple way the prediction of certain outcome of an event, prediction or measurement of uh, chance of an event like a, for example tossing a coin, rolling a die, picking a card from a deck of cards or getting into a bike accident or maybe occurrence of next earthquake in India, falling in love with your classmates that can be calculated in probability. Types of probability will Mm, divide probability into three categories. First of all, theoretical probability, then empirical probability and subjective probability. What is theoretical probability? Theoretical probability means we have a um, value in our mind that uh, if we toss a coin like example, it is a 50% chance to getting head, to get head and um, that is the theoretical probability. And next is the empirical probability. We need some historical data to um, predict something like occurring of earthquake. We need some 100 years of data uh, for the earthquake and we can predict the earthquake in next 20 years. And last is the subjective probability. A subjective probability that is based on some intuitive nature that is getting hurt in a bike accident. When you fall in an accident, what is the chance of getting hurt in, the, in that accident? These are the kinds of uh, probability. Now we will discuss about the basic parameters of probability. We need to know some basic uh, uh, elements, uh, basic uh, ideas like um, these elements or members. What is elements or members? Possible things that can happen in an experiment like head of a coin or number of, uh, of a dice and uh, day of a week. Like uh, you are uh, rolling a die and you are trying to get the number 6 and the day of a week that means you are choosing a day that is the Wednesday within the 7 days. Next is outcome. Outcome basically a single uh, possible things that can happen in an experiment or a multiple sequential possible things that can happen in an experiment. Like for example, you are trying to two heads consecutively or you are trying to get even numbers in a uh, rolling a die experiment. These are the outcome. What is event? Event basically set of some or all outcomes. Some means you maybe you are rolling a die and you want to get the odd numbers uh, and um, um, basically or getting a number one in the die. Or you can also define the event in a different way like a subset of a sample space. Set composed of elements or member uh, for a tossing of coin a set can be head and tail uh, and for a rolling a die it should be 1, 3 and 5 and for a week that is Sunday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Now we define the sample space. Sample space basically the set of all possible outcomes. Um, possible means the uh, 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 possible means all outcome we have to consider. For tossing a coin it should be head and tail and for rolling a die it should be 1 to 6. For sample space two properties very much essential. One is the sample space uh, the event must be mutually exclusive and uh, the, it is uh, collectively exhaustive. Mutually ex uh, exclusive means if for any event for rolling a die or uh, for uh, tossing a coin if head is appears then Mm, uh, tail cannot be or if the tail is uh, appears then head cannot be or uh, if for rolling a die if it is 2 appears then we surely say that no other number 1, 2, 1, 3, 5, 4, 5, 6 appear. These are the mutually exclusive. Collectively exhaustive means we have to consider all the possible outcomes. In that case that, that will be the total sample space because for a rolling a die you cannot uh, set a sample space like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It should be 1, 2, 6. The every possible outcome. That is why uh, these two properties are very much important for sample space. It is one is mutually exclusive and other is collectively exhaustive. We, now we define uh, probability axioms. What is probability? First we uh, simply define probability basically number of outcome or outcomes by total number of possible outcomes. We have to uh, consider following axioms. The axioms are that the, it is non-negative uh, or non-negativity that is probability of any event always greater than equal to zero and next axiom is normalization the probability of all the events in the sample space add up uh, all this uh, probability and it should be one and the last is the additivity for any disjoint event 
uh, the probability of uh, that individual events can be added that is p uh, probability a union b equals to p a plus p b and this way we can expand for any number of events if there is a1 to a n events then we can add the probability of p a1 of probability of p a2 and plus probability of dot 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 and probability of p a n now what is probability function probability function we have already mentioned that uh, that probability function basically p equals to number of outcomes by total number of possible outcomes p is a number between 0 and 1 let us take an example and try to calculate the probability function uh, we have we will take uh, an example of a rolling a die then sample space is 1 2 3 4 5 6 we take event a b c and d for event a it is 1 or any number for event b 2 and 4 for event c 2 5 6 and for event d 1 3 5 for probability for all the events it's uh, naturally it is 1 and for p event uh, for um, event a it is 1 uh, 1 by 6 because there are only one possibilities of getting any number out of 6 and for event B, we will select the two uh, numbers 2 and 4. So, it should be 2 by 6 and similarly for PC and PD. What will be the probability of uh, event B or D? In this case, we have to consider whether these events are um, disjoint or events are overlap. In P and D, we look into the elements 2 and 4 for B and for C, it is 2, 5, 6. So, one and for D it is 1, 3, 5. For B and D no elements are overlapped. In that case we can calculate the probability 2 by 6 for B and 3 by 6 for D. So, it should be 5 by 6. This kind of event is known as disjoint event. And for B or C if you look into the B or C uh, the elements of B and C we see that only one uh, uh, elements are overlapped. In that case we have to calculate the probability add up the probability of PB and PC and then subtract the overlap that is PA plus PB minus the overlap that is it is four, uh, equal to 4 by 6. So, this kind of event is known as overlapping events. Now, we will take some example probability of not occurring of any event. How do we calculate that, uh, that an event will not occur? In that case, uh, we will take an example rolling of a die. Uh, we uh, rolling of a die, we do not want two in the die. So, what will be the chance of not getting 2 in the die? In that case, we not getting 2 p of not a equals to 1 minus p of getting a p of a that is 1 minus 1 by 6. So, p of not a equals to 5 by 6 in that way uh, probability can be calculated of not happening of any event. Now, to calculate the probability, we have to um, uh, consider all the um, uh, possible outcomes. In that case, we have to make our choices. If whether we have to um, uh, take uh, um, event with or without replacement. For choosing a thing, that is why for choosing a thing with replacement or without replace, replacement is very much important. With replacement, like example, you can say picking a ball from a basket, we are collecting a ball from the basket and again uh, dropping the ball and again collecting in there it can be treated as a um, uh, event uh, as with replacement and without replacement picking players for a specific position in a cricket team like uh, you are uh, choosing a wicket keeper or choosing a spinner we have to um, uh, take the storm, uh, uh, player from the uh, without replacement so these are the um, example of uh, with replacement or without replacement another choice we have to consider whether these uh, choices is are order or unordered for choosing thing it is very much important because order or unordered will change the size of the sample space. Ordered means picking players for a specific position in a cricket team because we uh, choose a player of, for first down, for second down and uh, for six down and even for a, a bowler. So, we have to consider sequentially. In that case, it, uh, this um, event can be treated as an order. And, uh, same event can be chosen as a unorderly because picking players for a cricket team, we pick 11 players and going to play that, um, going to play the game. In that case, uh, it is not necessary. Um, we will get the, uh, it is, we will get the best bowler or best spinner. We have to take it easy. Now, uh, another thing we need to consider the combinations. Combination means to choose a group of k ordered objects from n possibilities without replacement in that case it is very simple it is a uh, combination uh, formula it is where order does not matter no. in that case we can say nck we all know uh, this nck so factorial n by n minus k factorial um, into k factorial 
and again uh, to choose a group of k order objects from n possibilities without replacement um, in that case order does matter so we use the formula n p k factorial n by n minus k that can be expanded in this way also n into n minus 1 n minus 2 dot uh, n minus k plus 1 in that case permutation and combination can be categorized or can be simplified in this form number of ways to select k objects from n possibilities whether it is ordered or unordered with replacement or without replacement we will follow this table now we will take some example we have a four identical cycles to distribute to 10 students we do not want to give any student more than one cycle is it with replacement or without replacement is it ordered or unordered how many ways can we distribute the cycle now first the cycles are identical so it is um, very much uh, unordered because we do not identify whether the first cycle uh, was distributed uh, uh, first or the last cycle was distributed first and as we do not want to give any student more than one cycle so it is a clear without replacement so it is a unordered and without re replacement and we will use the formula of nck and in this way we will get 210 number of ways we can distribute the cycle again we continue the exper um, example same way but the cycles are different here so as the cycles are different now we have to consider the um, ordered way because uh, there suppose there are four cycles red blue green and yellow and first student will get uh, the red cycle so the red cycle cannot be distributed to the any other student so we have to choose the order and as we do not want to give any student more than one cycle then in that case it is a um, without replacement so it is a ordered and without replacement in that is case we use npk and the result is 5040 number of ways we can distribute the cycle again we uh, took the same example in that case uh, the four it is a four identical cycle but we want to give some students more than one cycle so in that case the, is the as the cycles are identical so it is a very much unordered and uh, we want to give some student more than one cycle so the if one student get first uh, cycle then same student have to allow to get the second one so it is a um, with replacement method so it is a unordered and with replacement in that case we use uh, into the power k so it is a 10000 way we can distribute that uh, four cycle to the 10 number of students now the last example we have four different cycle to distribute the 10 student but we want to give some students more than one cycle as the number of uh, as the um, uh, cycles are different so we have to consider it, uh, it as a ordered um, uh, event and as the, we allow a student to take more than one cycle so we have to replace the same student who already got that got one cycle so it is ordered and with replacement so we use the formula of n plus k minus 1 ck and we will get 700 uh, 15 715 that is the 715 way we can distribute the cycle now we'll come to the next very important topics of probability that is independence whether two events are dependent or independent we define in such a way that event a and b are independent if b is true would not change the probability of a is true so if b is uh, true if uh, b is true it does not change the probability of a is true so let, suppose a is a event and another event is b so mathematically you can write that p of a equal to p a given b given b means b has already occurred so a will occur in that case so if p of a equals to p a given b is then we can say that a or b are independent a and b event are independent so for independent event a intersection b equals to p a into p b here is the great warning to the students that independent does not mean disjoint we always uh, try to confuse uh, we always confuse that uh, disjoint means independent it is not that the independent does not mean disjoint for disjoint event a intersection b equals to 0 as we see in the as we see in the picture that a and b are total disjoint and there is no intersection at all so in fact actually disjoint events are separate only but they are dependent why it is so it it is very easy that if i know about information anything else on a then we can say that it cannot be b or it, it, it we have a new information on b so any information regarding a gives a new information of b so that's why it is 
very much dependent. We will come into that with, a, with an example. Now we come into the topic of conditional in, in, uh, independence. Suppose A and B are two events that are independent initially. Now we introduce a new event C, which made some intersection with A and with B. And now the question is whether A or B are independent or dependent. Now the, the question is very simple that if the two events are um, uh, does not um, if the two events originally independent does not imply that it will remain always independent. If some conditions imposed on it, it will change your independency, uh, its independent independency. So it will remain, uh, it will become dependent in that case.